Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Dungeon Keeper 2 and we are off to Golden Glade. Golden Glade. A powerful rival. Keeper Malachi has wrested control of this land from a goodly Lord Bramble. Although their enigmatic leader is now dead, heroic forces are still attempting to hold on to the remains of his kingdom. Okay, it sounds pretty straightforward. All creatures on this land are inspired by one of your rivals, and do strive to slay the heroes here, for that's their chief's command. Humble must you be, and take whatever you can, wherever it may lie in such surrounding caves. Such smell of blood and death may just entice the undead to your aid. Oh yeah. Graveyard. Okay, so this is a strange kind of mission because you don't really need much stuff to begin with. I mean, the first few creatures you get are uh, skeletons. And everyone knows that skeletons don't require any. Um... A few skeletons are useful as they're fearful, but you'll need some stronger creatures too before your main attack. Yes, thank you. Skeletons don't require any um, maintenance. They don't sleep. They don't eat. So it's very easy to maintain. However. We are going to get a few um, vampires. One, two, three, one, two. And dig. Do we get any spells? No, we don't. Well, no new ones. Oh, hello. Now, if I'm not entirely mistaken, you will be able to rush off to claim a um, graveyard that should be like over here. Oops, wrong guy. You need a treasure bay to store gold. Yes, yes, yes. I will be spending my gold, so don't worry. Thank you. The graveyard. The graveyard. Here's where bodies of the dead are brought to fester. Left to rot in unmarked graves, their gory offerings entice the vampires here to feast. Your minions need a larger training room. Come on. Gold. 
Now, this should be pretty straightforward. A vampire has risen in your graveyard. A vampire rises now. A beast who's cheated death. And if you train and nurture him, he'll learn to do your bidding. Oh yes, he will do my bidding. Whether he likes it or not. They are, however, a bit expensive. Come on. A fitting place for them to die. Just like that, we probably get another two vampires, maybe? Although they, they do have to die first before we we actually get them, but... And... You require food, I believe. Will you start dragging them to graves, maybe? Before they start to disappear? Your graveyard is full of the dead. Make it larger. Uh, that that's a unique kind of problem. A vampire has risen in your graveyard. Well, thank you. Let's expand that one a little bit more. Actually, no. I'll take that back. Oh, hello! <laughs> and skeletons are kinda loud. A treasury over here just because it might be needed Oh, hello. Come here. I know you want to. Are 
you two will train because I want you to be able to uh, reanimate. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on, kill him. A vampire has risen in your graveyard. Thank you. Now... Alright, you need to keep digging. Because... We want to, um... Exploit all the gold we can find. Now, the drawback with skeletons is that they don't heal. So you have to um, actively go around and heal them on your own. Which can be a bit uh, boring. But uh, it's something it that needs to be done. Oh, hello. Come on. You need a prison to impound enemy creatures. down that wall oh hello Oh no, they killed one. I'm not in the slightest annoyed by it. Come here, little guy. Little guard. I know you want to uh, fight. Oh, hello, more of them. You know what? Let's build a bridge. Like that. There we go. Perfect. And you guys are training. As you should. Dwarfs. Even more dwarves. Now we're talking warfare. Unfortunately for um, the dwarves, vampires are really, really powerful. Come on. I know you want to fight. A vampire has risen in your grave. Oh yeah. Okay, now keep pulling the dead to the graveyard. Rest a little bit. Oh, hello. Good imp. How many can I have? Eight. 
eight vampires is going to uh, bring a whole lot of pain to uh, the enemy, no doubt. Come on. Bring all the dead over here. Your graveyard is full of the dead. Make yes, it yes, larger. yes, yes. Come on. Oh. More um, potential vampires. A vampire has risen in your graveyard. Oh, how lovely. Free training. Now, the drawback with vampires is that they cannot um, walk on water or lava. Which is a little bit uh, annoying, as you can see. Well, they can walk on water, but they'll take damage from it. As you can see. Quite a lot of damage. Kill him. Come on. Someone. Vampire has risen in your graveyard. Fine. Oh, please. Just leave him alone. And lure him into a false sense of security. Just like that. And he said, oh, too new. Now, the second we get our uh, eighth vampire, we are going to uh, destroy that hero's gate. Let's see. Fill that up. Now get in here and kill. Okay, I think that's um, it for now. I do believe we get our. A vampire has become unhappy because he has no lair. Well, you can go get one. I do believe we will get the last vampire in uh, a minute or so. It all depends on these two, if they are enough. A vampire has become unhappy because he has no lair. Well, go get one. Shouldn't be much uh, trouble, right?
Come on. Kill him. Thank you. Can we get the last umpire? Need a casino so creatures can relax? No, not really. Pro tip, the enemies got traps. Quite a few of them as well. Don't really need the gold right now, so we can just... Dig straight in. Come on. Can I at least get the last... I have not lost one, no, my bad. Eight is the maximum. And I should get one about now. Can you guys please stop? It is payday. Well, yes. But that's not what I want. I want to hear the um, message about a vampire rising. Come on. Just give it to me. There we go. Finally. This means that we can do this. You've taken over an enemy room. And things will be a little bit more calmer, but is full of the dead. Anyway. It is time to end the episode, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. So take care and bye bye.